With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Let's discuss the given problem. If we have been given the alpha from 0 to pi by 2 and if integral tan of x plus tan alpha divided by tan x minus tan alpha dx is equivalent to ax cos 2 alpha plus bx sine 2 alpha plus c where c is a constant of integration then we have to find the functions a of x and b of x respectively so first of all let us solve this problem with help of the relation between tan theta sine theta and cos theta where we say that tan theta is equivalent to sin theta divided by cos theta. So the expression would be integration of tan x plus of tan alpha and this is divided by tan x minus tan alpha. Right. Now we can write this is dx right. So this is actually same as sin of x divided by cos of x plus of sin alpha divided by cos alpha and this is divided by sin x divided by cos x minus of sin alpha divided by cos of alpha right so this value or this expression can be further written as this is integration of right when we take lcm so this would be sin of x multiplied by cos alpha plus of sine alpha multiplied by cos x right and this side the denominator would be sine x multiplied by cos alpha and this is minus of sine alpha multiplied by cos x right now this would be dx now we can write the value of this expression further into a more simplified version and that would be integration of this is what sine a cos b plus cos a sin b so this is sine of a plus b so this is sine of x plus alpha and this is sine a cos b minus sine a sine b cos a so this is sine of a minus b or sine of x minus alpha and this is dx so in this expression if we assume the value of x minus alpha as t then on differentiating this equation both the sides we can say that dx is equal to dt right and after this we can replace the value of this expression as integration of sine of x plus alpha now we know that x minus alpha is equal to t so x is equivalent to alpha plus t so x plus alpha would be equivalent to alpha plus t plus alpha that is 2 alpha plus t so this expression becomes sine of 2 alpha plus t divided by sine of x minus alpha that is sine of t and instead of dx we can write this as dt by using this equation right now to solve this further we can open this this is sine of 2 alpha plus t so this is equivalent to sine 2 alpha cos t plus of cos 2 alpha sine t right and in the denominator we have sine t so this is divided by sine t and this is also divided by sine t and this is dt right so this value of this expression is basically this cancels this term and this term becomes integration of sine 2 alpha multiplied by cot t and this is plus of cos of 2 alpha and this is dt right so after integration this is basically sine 2 alpha and this is dt so this would be sine 2 alpha and now this is integration of cot t dt right similarly this would be basically cos 2 alpha and integration of just dt simply so finally the value of this expression can be written as this is sine 2 alpha and we know that cot t or cot theta is integration of cot theta is log sin theta so this would be log of sin t after integration and this is plus of cos 2 alpha integration t would give us, integration dt would give us t and this is plus a constant c right that is basically what integration constant so we can say that this is sine 2 alpha multiplied by log of sine t and replacing t with the value as we have taken in the problem above that is x minus alpha so this becomes x minus alpha plus this is x minus alpha again and this is cos of 2 alpha 
plus c now we are going to compare this with the problem that is ax to cos 2 alpha bx sin 2 alpha plus c so easily we can say that this log sin x minus alpha is a of x and this x minus alpha becomes b of x for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today